Hey everyone, playing guy 31 here. Today we're doing another Vatsim video on this beautiful West Shape, uh, what? West 8. Hey everyone, playing guy 31 here. Today we're flying this beautiful Dash 8, operated by West Shape Encore. We're going to be flying from Edmonton to Kelowna, British Columbia today. Uh, we're going to be in the air for about an hour. It's going to take about an hour to get to Kelowna. We're going to be traveling, uh, flying at 24,000 feet. Uh, we don't have a full airplane today, only about 63 passengers on board. We're going to be about 20, uh, 7,000 program on takeoff. So uh, we got a pre pretty decent load on today. So without further ado, let's get started. GPUs are already connected, that's that loud, obnoxious sound going, so uh, we'll power up the airplane from there. Okay, so welcome to the cockpit of the Dash 8Q400. We're going to start powering everything up. Uh, there should be a WestJet over there, company WestJet. He's going to Vancouver, That's not, he's not with me. That's fine. So let's start this. Uh, let's start the system up. Turn on the batteries, best tie, the generators, and then turn on the exterior power. So we can get that GPU power in. Power up the FMC. Get this thing going. Put in one, two, two. Eight. Here. So I got all the tests going on right now. Bank angle. Uh, put the go to standby. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board our Dash 8 Q4. Uh, put his. I'm, just should, for I'm gonna give him the door the page. Board, then, uh, there he goes. The First officer's got the door. All right, so let's start off. All the weights are loaded in the aircraft with the uh, Majestic Q400 uh, load manager, so that's all good. Um, so what, with the weather in Edmonton right now, the winds are 30013 gusting to 21, so I'm going to take off from 30. Visibility is 20 miles, few clouds 2500 feet, few clouds flight level 250, temperature 162.10. So pretty, pretty nice weather, the altimeter 29 or 9 or 6, so I'll get rid of the Joystick or the yoke. Nine or nine or six. Right there. Good. So the parking brake, control lock, and the condition units are good. Right there where they should be. Set the squawk to 2200. Not control airspace at the moment. Alright, so let's do Edmonton. Departing runway 30, uh, Edmonton 1 departure. I'll just do it like this. More fun doing it this way. So, I'm going to pull up my flight plan on my phone here that I have. So I can just copy it right down. We're going to have Ho. And then we're, we take an airway. And the Q860 to Mad P. Um, then Y, Y and Y, Humec, um, and then what, there we go. So we got all the correct waypoints. We got Tavpo, the Q860 airway to NADP. And then YNY, Humac, Wetman. Alright, so that's set. Now let's hit our zero fuel weight that we got. It's 24510. So for our alternate fuel to 
YV error, we got 700 kilograms. Contingency fuel, 250 kilograms. And then for extra, we've got uh, 500 kilograms. So that means we've got 1,710 tank number one, and we've got 1,710 in the other one. There we go. So we did the fuels. Just cross check. It's the alternate. Contingency then extra. Okay, so that's good. So that so FMC work's done. We won't dilly dolly here too long. Um, that's good down in there. Now flying into Kelowna, it's very rugged terrain. Um, there's a lot of mountains near there. So it's uh, this route that we're taking. It takes us actually on a way that takes us through the mountains. Um, so I'll format it like this so we can see. So yeah, you see it goes down like that. And it follows, it goes into a valley almost. So um, the plane stays out of harm's way. Now to follow the charts, really good because Whitman goes right to the transition of the localizer runway 16 approach. I believe it's runway 16 down here quickly checked yet. But it'll take us to the um, transition to the localizer approach when we want, uh, to run the, one of the runways in Kelowna. And um, it's right in between this, some mountains, so that should be cool. So, the Edmonton 1 departure. We climb 6,000 feet initially, so I'll put 6,000 in my thing here. 30 heading 300. So we'll set heading select, altitude select. Um, okay, that's good. FMS1, FMS2. Pretty good down here. Set, you know, set the air, air, and the lights. Yeah, that light should have went on earlier. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I just turn on the outside nav lights, and such now in the air that we circulated. Turn on the yeah, the seatbelt sign and stuff. Okay. I'm nice and forgetful today. Oh boy. Okay, so we should be ready. We're gonna start the APU. So I always like to have that running. Before we push. running. Disconnect the exterior power. We can dismiss. Nice. Let's go. Alright, so we'll close the door now. Really need the air. Right, so doors closed. The route's all set. So hydraulic controls down here, and we will set to push back straight. Ground, we are ready for pushback. We are ready now. Please release point break. Parking brakes released. 
Pulsing back now. You're clear to start the engine number two. Engine number two. Start and feather. It's locked. Rise on the ITT, the RPMs, and the fuel flows. Back. Back. Okay. There's no one into Edmonton, so the Unicom calls, I don't think we really need them now. There's no one here. Not anymore. I'll just check. Yeah, he's gone. So we're good. If you want to use any electronic equipment, you would... So we're how far back are we? Uh, we'll do nose right. During the entire flight. We wish you a pleasant stay on board. Yeah, we'll set the V speeds when they're running. And end. Post back complete, the intercept departure break. Ladies and gentlemen, may we have your attention to the international safety regulations. Parking brake set. Can you get clearance at number one? Exits. Two exits are located in front, two at the wings, and two at the back. Rising the ITT and the RPMs, the flows. Pull the life vest over your head. Fasten the life vest by connecting the hooks to the ring. Pull the struts until the life vest go. is properly adjusted. Yes, that's good. So while that's doing, uh, I'll keep it on feather. I'll uh, do the B-speed thing. So, what was it? My safety instruction card in a suit pocket in front of you. Thank you for your attention. So wait, we're 28,000 kilograms, and we're uh, pretty high up. Old, you know what? For today, I'll set flaps. Uh, I'll just keep the flaps on. Okay. 28,000 kilograms. We're at about 2,000 feet of elevation, so we'll. Uh, So V1, 131. Rotate 131. V2, 132. Okay, that's a safe climb out speed. And V Fry is going to be one. Forty two. Flap uh, V climb would be one fifty four. There we go. That's good. Uh, set condition leaves to one thousand. Everything started up. We got everything in the green. It's perfect. Now we'll just uh, cross check everything, make sure it's healthy. What was it? My uh, gross weight was 28,000, pretty much.
much, so we're, uh, we are good. And it's not, uh, the temperature here is, yeah, it's 16 degrees, which is pretty nice and ripped. Right. So we turn on the PO heats. Start a taxi to runway three zero Edmonton. That's FMS one, FMS two. That's good. Perfect. Set that. Approaching runway uh, 30, so uh, before we take off, let's check uh, pedo heat, landing lights can I guess go on now, strobe as well. Flaps 5, V speeds are set, uh, the air conditioning is good, I'll set that, I'll set that further once we get airborne for lights. Here it's bright enough, we don't have to worry about that. What about check left, check right? That's So before we go, let's just double check everything. Yaw damper, autopilot set, um, lights, air conditioning, blah blah blah. Okay, all right, we're good. Let's go to Kelowna. Everything's in the green. Let's go. On the autopilot now, hitting uh, select, just ensure that we'll put the uh, indicator throttle to what 200. Climbing now, turn on the air conditioning. 
Commodore's 900. Okay, so I'm at cruise, and uh, I've experienced a little problem. Now, when I reached my cruise altitude, 24,000 feet, um, I went to put the props back to 850, because on the climb they're at 900, and I brought them back to 850. And the props are still running at 1,000 RPM. And I cycled them, and I don't even, and I don't know what's what's going on with these. See, they're not even doing anything. That's weird. But I'll just ignore it for now. It's not a big problem, but it's okay. I'm gonna put it in here. 6,000 feet. At Humec, I'll be at six, uh, seven thousand feet. So the uh, so their first restriction will be Humec. That's when we want to. That's where our restrictions start. Seven thousand feet, and then six thousand feet. Yeah, set that, and then target vertical speed eighteen hundred feet. Works. Press enter again, and now our top of descent is in twenty minutes. And what is going on? Oh, we're over speeding. How nice. Because our friggin' propellers didn't go to eight fifty like they're supposed to. So I'm just gonna juggle with this. Ice. Oh, nice. Look at that. Oh, yeah, the DS is doing its job. Getting a bit of turbulence, it looks like, so I'm going to turn on my passes to the sign. Yeah, this, I, this is the very first time this ever happened where the props, they just went nuts. Well, I'll ignore it for now. I'll just uh, continue with the flight. Okay, well, okay, there's that. <laughs> are you really gonna go again? Yeah. Whoa, you are a fucking monster, Papa. <laughs> you just pick it up from the day, then, Papa. He <laughs> 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 sounds like a friggin' monster. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> I didn't try the other ones because I kind of don't like meat. Chicken is okay, but I mean, how bad can it be, really? It's just like a fucking piece of chicken, you know? Yes. It's like a piece of cake. Okay? Yeah. Okay, so, um... Alright, so I'm approaching my top of descent. I have this little glide slope looking thing coming up. When that shows up, I'm going to click my VNF button. So I have this set to 6,000 feet, so when this reaches the top of descent, what's going to happen is that this is going to follow this like a, like a, a glide slope indicator. I'm going to descend down so I cross these two waypoints here at the appropriate restrictions I need. And as we can see, I put the, my terrain radar on so I can see what we're dealing with, because if you look outside, there's mountains everywhere. And Kelowna is in that is in uh, one of these valleys. I think it's over there somewhere. It's in a valley. So uh, we're going to be so this route's going to take us in between those mountains so we don't hit them. Propellers running high on RPMs as usual. This is supposed to be day 50. Yeah, and then like you try and cycle them, they'll do that. I'm going to have maintenance look at this plane when I land. This is uh, this is 
odd. In the meantime, I'm going to I'm going to set my speeds for arrival. going to be 116 and I'll put this to uh, flaps 5 on the approach uh, 137 ish there, yeah should be fine there we go now the plane's descending I'll bring the throttles back still ice. The, the uh, de-ice mechanism is working as fast as it possibly can. I'm thinking that it's a bug with the software right now. Maybe the de-ice isn't even functioning. Go out here. No, nope, actually never mind. De-ice is working, but the props aren't, so. F for respects. Can we get an F in the comments? Let's get an F. Minimum is 2,800 feet. Continue. Way. I haven't done a localizer approach in forever. Oh, is that the runway over there? calls were, I don't know. Retreat. 
control lock. Welcome to Kelowna. Start feather number one. Turn off the fuel pumps in the auto feather. Ice protection. Come off as well as the pedos. Go, stop, break, start and feather, start our view, bus tie. Um, that's that took an hour and six minutes. It's pretty good, and I use 990 kilograms. Lot of fuel. Alright, and now we should be good to turn this off. Alrighty. Alright. Now, is there a stop? Open the door and let everyone get out. If I had GSX, it'd be a lot cooler. <laughs> 